President Roosevelt issued a secret order after the Pearl Harbor attack. Find a way to strike back at Japan. It takes four months to figure out how. The distance is daunting. The technology is lacking. But they pull together a plan that's part bravado, part desperation. Ships cut through a stormy Pacific in radio silence, just as the Japanese did coming the other way. American carriers haven't yet come of age. This one's only big enough to launch a scout plane with a catapult. To bomb Japan, they'll have to launch a bigger plane off this deck, a B-25. They've never tried it. We hadn't actually flown off a carrier before. I wondered, could I get out of that damn airplane if we go off the end of the flight deck? Bombardier Herb Mesha scrapes the waves and gets airborne by a whisker. There's no turning back. The deck is too short to land on. 16 planes are off to Japan on a wing and a prayer. It's called the Doolittle Raid for the colonel who leads it. There's no footage of the raid itself. Some bombs hit Tokyo, but damage is minimal. Most planes go on to crash land in China. As payback for Pearl Harbor, it hardly rates. America doesn't care. Doolittle and his gallant men shake the complacency of the Japanese warlords.